Okay, so I am going to make rhubarb bread and I need one and a half cups of chopped rhubarb. So I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm chopping the rhubarb. Okay, here's the chopped rhubarb. I'm going to rinse really well. One and a half cups. I'm going to lightly grease a uh, two loaf pan. This is just cooking spray. This is butter flavored. So I'm just going to set these aside. I am putting in a small bowl one cup of milk and I use almond vanilla because I'm making a sweet bread so I don't mind the vanilla. A tablespoon of lemon juice. That goes right in here. Teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh. I'm going to stir that like this. And then I'm just going to set this aside. Okay, I'm going to set this aside for 10 minutes. In a large bowl, you're going to mix in one and a half cups of brown sugar. Here's my one and a half. You want one egg. And two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil. Pour it right in. There you go. Okay, you want to stir this mixture up. This is the brown sugar, the egg, and the oil. Stir it right up. Get it all mixed in. I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon baking soda. I'm going to put that right in here and stir that up. One teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put that in with the baking soda and the flour and stir that in. Okay, I'm going to stir in the flour mixture into this sugary mixture. Stir that up. And I'm also going to alternate with this milk mixture that I had sitting for 10 minutes. And I'm going to alternate that until it's all mixed in. Flour mixture. Stir that in. Milk mixture. Stir that in. Flour mixture. Stir that in. Okay, milk mixture. Stir that in. Flour mixture. I'm going to pour it all in now. Stir it up with the liquid. And stir that all up. Yeah. Stir that all up. So I stirred this mixture all up. Now I'm going to fold in the one and a half cups of rhubarb. I am going to fold in the rhubarb. Just fold it in. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm going to pour this batter into the prepared loaf pans. I've got two of my pans here, and they're just bread loaf pans. And I'm going to fill those pans. That one should be good. Spread it around. Oh, it makes two of these. I think I got them pretty even. I scraped it all out. So for the topping, before we um, bake this bread, I need one tablespoon of butter, softened. Just gonna mush that down a little bit. 
I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon that goes in here. And then a, half, a quarter cup of um, brown sugar. And that gets all mixed in together until it forms a crumble uh, topping. So you gotta work at it a little bit. So this is for the topping of the bread and it's just butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And you keep working it till it makes a nice little crumbly topping. And you're gonna put that right on top of the bread. You just gotta keep working it. It's starting to crumble. Okay, so this is the crumbly mixture that we made with the brown sugar and the butter and the um, cinnamon. We're just gonna sprinkle that right on top of the bread on both loaves. It just gives it a little sweetness to it, that's all. Okay, I have enough. Now we're gonna bake it in an oven, 325 is a good degrees for 40 minutes. When the bread is done, and here it is. Two loaves of rhubarb bread.